What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of the four door Civic and I'm going to show you exactly what the motor is doing as far as me saying it sees and letting you see exactly what that looks like. Now you're probably wondering how I actually know that this motor sees. Well to be quite honest when I got the car I didn't even think of that being a possibility. Uh, the guy said that the it, it was turning over then it stopped turning over. He thought it might be the starter or something like that. So I was really hoping it's going to be a super easy fix. Maybe the starter burn up. Uh, maybe the battery's dead, something simple like that, and then just you know get a new starter on it and be good to rock and roll. So when we got to the house and actually looked at the car, one of the first things we did is hook Matt's Jeep up to it to try to jump it off, give it a little more power, and it still did not turn over. It would just click. Um, so that to me made me think that it is an electrical problem. Excuse me. Well, the more I got looking at it, the more I realized this is not a battery problem. This is not an electrical problem because we decided to go ahead and do the trade. I got it home. And at the battery, I was getting 12, like 12.5 something volts, more than enough to hit this thing and, you know, basically knock this motor and start. Um, and it still won't do it. So as we got looking at it more and more, I started realizing that things aren't turning at all. It's not the starter, it's the motor. So the reason that I have this wheel off down here is I went ahead and put a breaker bar on the crank pulley and I tried turning it over. Uh, counterclockwise and even clockwise and no matter what I did this motor would not turn um, I don't know how the starter is getting a turnover that starter is throwing out some hellacious torque to actually get this engine even budge considering I can't with a breaker bar so the one thing that I did do and I did notice went ahead and took the cylinder head off in hopes maybe like a rocker broke or something like that like a rocker arm broke maybe got somewhere to where it would lock the motor up maybe it couldn't spin Kind of like the best case scenario for a seize up motor, that it be in the valve train, because I could just pull this rocker group out, throw another rocker group in, and it'd just be a ball game, you know what I'm saying? But that's not how it worked. But I did notice something, and you may already be noticing it. If you look how oil stained this rocker group is versus that cylinder head, you can see right here the color difference. You can see you got nice gold and a nice pretty silver. Which leads me to believe there's been engine work done. Now whether it was done right or wrong, I don't know. I can't wait to get this thing on the stand and actually see what failed in it. I know that's kind of bad. Like, I'm excited to see what went wrong, but it's already went wrong. There's no fixing it now. But I am excited to see what went wrong. But the reason I know that cylinder head is not factory. One, the, the colors don't match. This car's got 289,925,000 miles. There is nothing going to last that long and not at least get some kind of oil color to it. So that is uh, definitely a concern there. What I am going to do is I'm going to set the tripod up real quick and show you guys exactly what this motor is doing. I don't know if it'll do it. I might be out of battery power. I haven't tried starting it in a few days and it's been kind of cold. So let me go and get you set up and we'll show you exactly what it's doing. Oh, we got power in here. I don't, is this power seat? All right, guys, so as you've seen, it won't even turn the motor over now. I did take it a little bit and check the battery is weak, so that may also be why it's doing it. Or as many times as I've started it in the past, I may have just completely, whatever was in there that was barely hanging on and allowing it to turn, I may have just completely done in. I was going to pull the Del Sol over and try to jump start it, but it's just so much, there's stuff I don't want to move, it's in the way. And I still don't know that by doing that, it would have enough to actually turn it. Like I say, I may have finally done in whatever was in there that was still allowing it to turn. I don't know. I also noticed <laughs> when I looked over the stuff that I called it a uh, the valve cover, a uh, cylinder head, it is a valve cover. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to be the video. I really wanted to show you guys what it's doing and I wish it would do it. But we are 100% sure that this motor is completely seized. There's no hope for it. Um, whatever, when we take it apart on the stand, we may find out we can still utilize stuff. I'm pretty sure actually the block is still good as long as it's not one of the mains and it's completely chewed up one of the journals because at that point I'm not running oversized bearings in a main. I'm just not doing it. I don't run oversized bearings in anything like if I can help it. Um, as long as that cylinder head's good, we're good because the Z6 cylinder head I got is pretty nasty. Um, I really don't want to throw the money in it right now to get it clean just to get this guy up and running. But we got to get this car up running because as soon as we get this one up running, we can really start playing with the Del Sol, which is a big thing for me. We're still going to put coilovers and wheels on the Del Sol. That is in upcoming videos. We've got a lot of work that's going to be done with this one. I do want to do a new hood. I want to do two new fenders. 
Uh, I haven't really showed you guys the interior of it, but there's some big plans that I want to do in that one too. Uh, we definitely got to get carpet in here. Looks like there's a dent in the floor. I know it's a little dark. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it definitely is a good deep cleaning. And then uh, it doesn't have a headliner. or It has a little bit of a headliner there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it doesn't have one back there. So I definitely want to get that all fixed up. I'm probably going to put all new interior in it. At least dial what's in it and clean it up real nice. Because it's, it's pretty nasty. But it ain't no big deal. But what I really got for that thing, I think I did pretty good. So anyways, guys, this is the video. If you liked it, and I really hope you did. I know this ain't the greatest content. We're just getting coming back, and we got to get this thing to the shop before we can really throw out true banger content. But if you did like it, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see just awesome banger content, you want to see cool Honda content, stuff about slammed, lowered cars, anything like that, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe and give that bell a little ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Anyways, guys, this has been the video. Thanks for watching.